welcome back everybody so in this video we're going to be running the leaderboard for Crete now with Crete there are two separate leaderboards there is the solo leaderboard and there's the co-op leaderboard you can win rewards from both of them so even if you do it in co-op uh, if you hopefully watch this video and try to follow it you could do it in solo as well and get even more empire points coin or gear um, for example, if I come rank 25th here, I will get 500 Empire points for coming in the top 33, plus uh, 20,000 coins, plus I will get these as well, which puts it up to like 750 Empire points. And then if I did it in co-op and came in roughly the same place, or higher or lower, I would get another 750 Empire points on top of that, giving me 1500 Empire points at the end of the season. Now, with the leaderboard, you want to aim for around 3.5 3.6 million points uh, which would put us currently in rank fourth so that's roughly where we're going to be aiming for uh, i might come a little lower because obviously i'm talking and showcasing the video as well um i'll go into how to get the points during the video um as we go through it but to get there you need to set it up as impossible level 40 30 waves and then the map you need to choose is the Matrian C. If you choose any other map you won't get the points because each map gives a certain amount of points and you cannot get uh, the Matrian C gives you the most points let's put it that way. If you did the Sea of Crete you'd barely scrape a million points for all 30 waves whereas we need 3.6 million roughly. Unless you finish block and then you get 4.1 million every time. And I have no idea how he does it. I haven't got a fucking clue. Uh, but he does do it. Uh, I'd like to know how. But for beginners or people who do the co-op and don't play solo. Here's how I tend to run it on solo. Just to get into the top 25. So I start with ships. And then I do towers and infantry. So I've got... Um, Lumberjack, but if I had Wayland, I would probably run Wayland, but because I'm the Romans, I don't have him yet. Uh, Nanus, age 2, Bolgrios, uh, age 3, and age 4, we're running Pompeii. Now, the milestones mirror that. Obviously, I've got infantry, infantry, and then I've got tower damage. I've got a small trickle of gold, just because, just because. Um, then I've got ship damage, because obviously we're running ships, and then we've got infantry damage after that as well. So let's get to it. And there are three types of spawns. Infantry, Archer and Cavalry. And I'm praying to God it's fucking infantry. Because I've tried this video seven times and infantry haven't spawned fucking once. But from the start, grab your town centre and kill a deer on the left. Do your storehouse. Go on to wood. Build three villages and then go mm -hmm. on to the upgrade. Uh, if you have an engineer, if you're running Romans, use him to build three houses. If not, just use your next villager that comes out to build the houses. Grab your scout, move him on up. And there are four spawns on this one. So there's this one up at the top. There's this one here on the left, there's one down at the bottom over here, and then there's the siege spawn which is up at the top over here as well. And you need to produce units to deal with every single spawn. Uh, but they tend to come in a clockwise, uh, counterclockwise fashion, so the first one is always up at the top. Normally the second wave is on the left, third wave is at the bottom, and wave four is the ramp. However, I did one before and they were fucking all over the place, so... Such wood, I suppose it depends on whether it's cavalry, infantry, or um, archers. So come on, infantry. Jesus fucking Christ, come on, infantry. Let's get a duck down. Jump onto a bit of gold. So we'll get three ships out straight away. Stick them up there. Grab me engineer or villager in your case, depending on your sieve. Move over to the left and build a dock over here. 
get it in there somewhere. There it is. And once he's done that, he can build a dock down here as well. So when your ships spawn in, you want them right up against the shoreline because when the units come in, you want them to come down and attack your ships, stop them going into your base. The reason why I want infantry to come is because when they come down, they're slower and they'll have to come all the way down towards my ships, giving me a lot more time to attack them. If it's archers, they just stand up there and wreck your ships. The archers are easy enough to kill. It's when the fucking chariot archers and things come in. That's okay. when things become a pain. So again, there. In there, get them on there, get them on there. Okay, so we're about to see what's about to come in. Please be infantry. Finally, fucking infantry. Shove them in there. Okay, so I finally got the spawn I want. It took a while for it to come, but we finally got it. So hopefully everything runs smoothly. And as you can see, they're a lot slower, they're easier to kill, etc, etc, etc. Once I'm a bit more comfortable, I'll go into the point system and a better way to get more points. But for now, we just want to keep building villages, jumping on the wood, and make sure you're getting food because you're going to need food. Spawn one down at the bottom. Second one for the bottom. Here's wave two. Coming in up at the top. And they should actually come in from the left. Okay, so down here. Stick one right up against the uh, shoreline as always. Second one up right up against the shoreline, as always. And third one is actually going to go into a different position down at the bottom. As you can see, they're still coming in up at the top, but they're getting killed as they come in. So your third one comes on over to the left. Let's go and build one more ship up here while it's coming over. To kill this seed ship. Now, it's not the only seed ship. There is a few, so this one needs to stay in between these two fish pools. We'll probably do you. Okay, now I need to grab my engineer. Build a barracks or two. Because I'm going to need some infantry units shortly. Now, as you can see, rather than them running into my base, they're coming towards the ships. They're fighting the ships and the ships are killing Okay, so let's start getting the infantry out. Normally I would run cavalry, but um, the Romans don't have an age 2 cavalry unit that isn't an officer, and an officer costs too much gold, so I'm having to run infantry. And I need to get them out quickly because we're about to hit age 4, way 4. Need another house or two. One, two, three. Because here's the ramp. I'll have to pull a ship away. Try to keep him away from the thingy. It's okay if he kills that. Fine, killing the dock. 
because I can rebuild the dock quite simply and for cheaper. Okay. ships. Now that ramp is normally the hardest thing in my opinion. Getting everything covered and then getting units out to build uh, to kill that ramp is the hardest thing for me. So. I need some villages on stone now. Is just here. So my units will go here to kill the siege spot. Scattering around a bit. And you just keep building ships. One ship. One ship. One ship. Now we can start gathering our stone. We need to try and get some stone, a decent amount of stone, before wave 10. Because that's when um, all the priests start coming in. And when the priests come in, because they don't physically attack, they'll just yolo at your base and start converting everything. So for now, let's do this. Couple more down at the bottom because I want to give this some company. now come over here briefly as soon as my last villager comes out Eus. stick him there let's get another one for there let's go and send him a bit of company and build one more for down at the bottom start getting the market up since I got Nanus it doesn't pretty much cost anything so there you go here's another siege unit that's just come in they have cavalry you'll be able to chase him down quite quickly Not quite lucky there okay three um, engineers or villagers whatever you're going to be using elephants are spawning in now in nightmares just keep building them, keep building them, keep building them. Okay, so before wave 10, start getting your uh, towers up in this position. Come over here. And the north spawn, this top one, is where most of the. Uh, units come in. Let's just stick a few extra units there. I can probably actually skip to age three in a moment. Let's get this down. Let's throw all these on it as well. Looks like I need another engineer. I'm out of stone. I know there's another one over here. Get a caravan line up. Get a few more caravans out. A few more people on wood. The engineer. Grab these two, these can go here. Oh, 
Okay, and because I'm using ships, let's build the armory first. Get the next one out. If I upgrade the arrowhead, it applies the pierce damage to um, the ships as well. Struggle here. Let's kill all these. Just gonna build a wall. Let's hope I can survive it. Yep, can survive that. Jump to the next stage. Start building some towers in its place. Need to move these now because the engineers will come in. Let's bring Scout because he'll try and convert him as well. Okay, let's buy some of that and that. Let's start getting these towers up. Here's the big wave. So just keep going. Another one of them. Get another two of them. Get another one here. Keep going with the villages. Where the fuck do you think you're going? God damn it. Uh, I've cap I've caught the bloody elephant. Just need to kill the fucking elephant. Yeah, I'm gonna have to build these. The engineers are elsewhere. Just caught. But having that slow me down there, you lose points. So with the points system, you get points for every um, you get points for every. Sorry, I'm just trying to think uh, what I need to build next. Let's get some more caravans. Let's get that done. Let's get that built. Um, you came off gold, so I'll go and find some more gold for now. Go on to there. The rest of you can go on food, because I'm going to be doing infantry shortly. Three, four, five, six. Let's get that upgrade. I've got these engineers here. I've got engineers down at the bottom. Probably get the upgrade for the towers. Yep. Why am I hearing? Ah, friggin' ugh, that shit. Engineer uh, priest have just run past. And this is what happens when priests get into your base. Quite lucky, uh, actually, there. Buy some more stone. Our way. Dominus, ego. For now, you can just build. Get me some wood. I know I should have more than one, but for now, that'll do. Gotta put those engineers. Or 
more engineers down here at the bottom. Get them built. It's just one seeping through every time. This means I need more towers. Go and buy some more stone. Them in there. Just a quite a bit. So they went from the engineers, so I'll have to go and rebuild that shortly. I'll fucking go and do it now with some villages. You can go on gold. Couple more. Where's my engineers? There they are. Okay. Sorry, I was on about uh, the point system itself. Uh, you get points for each wave that you do. You get like a lump sum. Um, but that slowly decreases the longer the wave goes on. So the quicker you can kill waves, the more points you'll get at the end of that wave. Uh, also, you get the extra points for... Uh, personally killing the units. So the more units you kill, even in co-op, the more units you kill, um, the more points you will get. And it's just a matter of practicing, practicing, practicing until you can kill the waves quicker. Like, the waves are taking longer on this because I'm obviously not spawning units in. I'm doing it solo just to show roughly it a little easier or of how it could be. But this would still net me I think around 3.4 million at the end of it. Uh, tell you what, let's go and buy some stone. Which isn't there. Let's go buy some stone. Let's jump to the next stage. And I'm going to need some more food. And you just keep building, 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 building. Let's get them all built there. Okay. So you are going to spawn here. You two are going to spawn there. Where's my engineer? It's all my engineers, so I'll swipe a couple. So now we're just preparing for the second half. Two more houses. Yeah. You want to spawn there. Let's find them. Let's get that upgrade. That upgrade. Need to go and buy some more stone. Well, let's get the tower upgrade. Caravans are going. Some more on gold. Don't mind the gold. I've lost my engineers again. Where the fuck are they? There they are. Go there. 
So once these are all binded, make it a lot easier for me. So we've got the tower upgrades. I'm going to need a lot more towers by the way, so I don't think we'll finish with those. But as soon as we are done, here, build a couple more here. Okay. So I'm going to be spawning units in all over the map now. So these are going to run over to there. Those ones that are down here are going to run up to the siege spawn. These ones will be running down to the bottom. And those ones will be running to the left. But I don't have enough food as of yet to maintain it. So let's go and buy some. And then let's go and build some more. There you go. That'll do. Fire me engineers. To here. Plus the extra ones are built. Also come up. And soon I can start getting rid of my ships. For now, I need to go and buy some more. 28 people on board, I don't need that many on board now because I'm going to be getting rid of the ships soon. So let's send you down here, start getting me some gold. And as you can see, now this is where the points start to come in quicker because I'm starting to kill or attempting to kill waves as soon as they come in now. You can do it from the very start. For example, if you if you get a cavalry spawn, uh, so you're preparing for cavalry spawn, you send spearmen straight away. Don't do the ships, you send spearmen straight away to every location and they'll kill the cavalry a lot quicker. But you just need to be able to maintain that and make sure you've got your towers up before um, the priests come in, otherwise they'll just convert everything. So all I'm doing now is creating a spawn kill zone. Okay, so they spawn in here, all towers shoot at the same time as I spam units. Put these back to, get rid of that, get rid of that one. Priests. You fucking not having me, you bastards. We've got a message coming in from somebody, I'm not too sure who it is, but uh, I'll get back to that soon enough. Okay, chuck these out. Where the hell are they came from? Grab a couple of these to deal with it. Move these out of the way a minute. Okay, 
send them back up. And he's back to here. Go and buy some stone and continue where we were. I think I need to get the upgrades. So I'll go and buy some more stone. Our way, you go. You can all die. You can die. You can come here. Build me a fortress here. So now it's back to spawn in there. I'll get a cast element upgrade as well. Why not? I mean, I, you know, I could be a lot more efficient with my resources. I could build the forum and get the upgrades, etc., etc., etc. It's quite not going to bother. Uh, I would have done this with Caesar, but I don't have Caesar, so I'm using Pompey because obviously I'm using infantry. We're on the home stretch. Nothing really should go wrong now. Except if they kill all the fucking engineers. Gonna uh, need more towers at the bottom soon as well. But as you see, my two ships are still doing well. He's about to die, so I might need to replace him. Uh, I could do some fishing for some extra food. You know what, I think I might. About a couple of fishing boats. Away with me, engineer. Do that. Plenty of wood. Let's kill all these off. Build some more units. Stack up there as well. Oh, I never finished up round the back. We're on 2.1 million at the moment with six waves left. So we might only finish at 3.1 actually. Which isn't great, but you know, it's a decent start. I'm not too used to using the Romans. I would normally use um, Egyptians or Persians. Or Roman. But if we can effectively... Start killing them quicker. Some more 
engineers out. And kill them off. Build some more units, scatter them around. Hopefully, we might finish a little higher than three point one million. Okay, my ship died. I will replace it with the same one. Might as well get the upgrade for the extra range. Not that it's needed. Another message coming through. I don't have the uh, text up, so we'll find out. Let me see. It. Let's just see what we end up finishing up on. Just a matter of Sim City now. Fucking stand there, you fuckers! <laughs> he just stood there. <laughs> okay, I was even waiting to move. Him. Fuck you, hell. There's a lot of elephants. Like I say, you could be even more efficient, you could put clinicuses in with all the units that you're building, keep them alive longer, heal, etc, etc. I'm just being fucking lazy. I know it's a video, I know I'm supposed to be showcasing how high to get things, this is more of just, just your startup. You can then figure out what goes where, what else you need to build. Always go for your engineers or your villagers. They'll always go for them. There me.
Plan a wave incoming. I'm on 3.2, higher than I thought it was going to do. Kill final wave. Final wave are coming from everywhere, every direction. Set the engineers in for attack. Three point five on the nose. Well, with, with some change. So that is the final score. I was on what was it on three point two, and then when I had finished killing the wave, it jumped to three point five on the final round. Uh, so before we go off, we'll see where we ended up. I think it would be fourth place. Um, might be good enough to stay. In the top 25, might be good enough, can't be too short. Uh, I'll have to check back closer to the time. So let's just go and see where we got on the leaderboard on solo for this one. Okay, need to turn to it in. Greet. Enjoy your stay. See what we got item wise. Probably a load of garbage, it normally is, yep. Um, and the leaderboard, it Fourth place, yes, 3.5. So 3.5, 3.6 just from that. And I fucked up and took it quite slow as well. So I probably could stretch to 3.6. I think 3.6 is the most I have ever had. I may at some point at 3.7, but I, I don't remember. Uh, the only person I know to get in the 4 million mark is finish block anyway. So there you go. Sorry for the length of the video, but it is however long Crete is. It takes about 40 minutes to do it. All 30 waves. Uh, so give yourself a, a go on it. Why not? You can only fail. Uh, it took me 7 attempts just to get a bloody infantry on this one. Wasted like 2 hours. Uh, Pre-video. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all again soon.